First pitch of this one is in there for strike one, and we're underway. You're ready for the weekend. You got your big plate game. It's a beautiful night in Southern California, and then this happened. <laughs> so it is fouled off the home plate umpire, the crew chief, Larry Van Over. That mask comes flying off. Took a pretty good hit. Yeah, he's rattled. Oh, wow. The umpire is checking on him, and the Padres trainer as well. This is okay. Larry Vanover been in baseball, big league umpire since 1991. He's been around the block many, many times. And uh, we talk about players being gamers. There's a gamer right there in Larry Vanover. So Vanover remains in the game through the conclusion of the first inning. He'll come out between innings. Also did that when he got hurt back in 2013, May 5th. He stayed in the game for a while and then left later on. In 2017, Vanover's last exit of the game due to a head injury, foul ball to the mask, was also in San Diego. That game, he came out immediately. So, home plate umpire, Larry Vanover, the crew chief, who was hit on a foul ball, hung in there for an inning and then walked down into the Padres' dugout in between innings. And looks like he's going to go get checked out, and that means another umpire will have to put on the gear and head behind the plate as he is unable to continue apparently here. Yeah, we wish him well, and uh, oh, uh, one of the umpires has got to go back to the umpire room and change into his gear, give him some time. Like Chris Scuccioni, who was at first base, went to get the umpire's gear. That's going to take some time, so we're going to have a delay here in the yeah. meantime. And that happens from time to time. We will step aside for the moment and be back after this. Well, so that gesture with the air pen and paper we saw from Chris Guccione, how did I do with that pronunciation, Paul, before he left to put on the gear, is related to the line of cards. We want to keep them on the playing field, make sure that the chain of custody is on the up and up. We want to know where they are. Nothing leaves the visual confines. We want to be transparent, ethical, all that stuff. While we have a few minutes, one of the questions that we get asked is when a plate umpire gets hurt, who replaces that person? Is it the first, second, or third base umpire? The answer is it's up to the individual crew and that crew chief. In this situation, maybe Vanover, as the normal crew chief, isn't up to making that decision because he's hurt. So it falls to the acting chief, which in this situation is Gooch. Some of the considerations here are what inning did it happen in, how long is the series, etc. We don't want an umpire working the plate twice in the same series. I think MLB might have a rule on that. So if this is the first game of the series, you might have more latitude and more options than in a later game. Here the umpires say it's going to be a while, so you might as well, you can leave the field and go back to the dugout if you want. Here we have Guccione taking over behind the plate. He was the first base umpire. Now he's the plate umpire. A few factors, it's a very early injury, just the first inning. None of the other three on the field have worked the plate for this entire series, so forth. In this situation, the decision is made to treat this like a full game for the replacement umpire. By taking over behind the plate, Gooch just moves up his scheduled plate job by a day. That's all it is. They treat it like a complete game because, after all, eight innings of work behind the plate is pretty close to nine innings. And now that MLB on doubleheaders has moved all games to seven innings, you might as well treat an eight-inning game the same way behind the plate that you would treat a nine-inning game. That'll get you on the scoreboard. And <laughs> on TV. Reminds me of college rain delays. My goodness. Gotta giving some warm-up tosses here. Yeah, that is Chris Guccione who's taking over in behind the plate. That's a lot of gear to put on, like yeah, you said, it is. isn't it, Donnie? Yep. From our friends at outwestofficials.com who would never copyright claim us, some of the plate umpire's gear includes a special plate shirt, plate pants, plate hat, like a short bill hat, belt, right ball bags, the, uh, larger socks, face mask or helmet, throat guard, chest protector, shin guards, plate brush, indicator, athletic supporter, plate shoes. It's definitely a whole to-do. And that's why it takes so long. Product full warm-up tosses here, so it'll be Guccione behind the plate. Addison will go to first base. And it'll be David Rackley, who is at third base, remaining at third base. Uh, changes for the umpires. 
three person crew means more rotations, more coverage needs, more running, definitely something that umpires at lower levels are used to. Jimmy Votto to lead it off here in the second inning. Well, dear Chris Guccione, you were planning on having a relaxing evening at first base. Yeah. Not that that's relaxing. Not that any umpire spot really is relaxing, but it's not calling balls and strikes. You weren't planning on this. Yeah, I'm sure you get in that mode to where you know, maybe some close plays at first. Now you got to buckle down, and, and this is part of the training also for umpires, knowing that somebody can get hurt on a certain pitch, and that's exactly what we witnessed tonight. 